What do? So nice to see you. Welcome to uh, McDonald's Norway. The first time I entered McDonald's in Indonesia, I was a little bit surprised because McDonald's in Indonesia is quite different from McDonald's in Norway. What do you think is the difference? You can think about it on the way in. Let's order some food. Norwegian McDonald's. I it make an ending tasty also. I've done the purchase and I don't know if you notice it behind there because the big difference between McDonald's Indonesia and McDonald's Norway there's no chicken here like you have maybe two options of a chicken burger but no fried chicken at all like if you enter McDonald's in Indonesia it's almost like going into KFC like everything is chicken so there we got it Probably the thing I miss the most about McDonald's in Indonesia is this drink here. This is chocolate milkshake and I would say like McDonald's has one of the best chocolate milkshakes in the world. And I, I don't understand why you don't sell it in Indonesia. You have the ice machine so it's kind of, it's the same machine that makes it. Mm. It's very good. But the thing here in Norway, you can't choose rice. There's no rice at McDonald's. This is the only choice. Or you can choose carrots, like the healthy thing. But you, this is the standard, the french fries. No rice, it's not even an option. You can't choose to have rice at all. Since there's almost no chicken, you have a lot of options with the meat. Do do the big tasty, I really, I think that's one of the best burgers of McDonald's, in my opinion, here in Norway. Like I mentioned inside, in Norway, you only have like a couple of options with chicken. And those are burgers or chicken nuggets. We don't have KFC in Norway, so we don't, we don't eat that much fried chicken as people do in Indonesia. So it's kind of not the market for it, I think. McDonald's is kind of the same brand and the same thing, but it's at the same time not the same because try to blend in in the country they're in. Like for people, probably the majority of you watching this, Indonesian people, you really like chicken and rice. And like, if I bring Indonesian friends to McDonald's, they only choose the fried chicken and rice. They don't go with the burger or something that is not typical Indonesian. They go with the tradition Indonesian style fried chicken. Like you get in the streets, in the warungs, everything. It's just, you buy it in McDonald's. So I remember when I walked into McDonald's for the first time in my life in Indonesia, I was like, where is all the burgers? It's only chicken. It's like going into KFC. <laughs> Here in Norway, it's the opposite. We don't get chicken. We only have burgers. We do have the chocolate milkshake in Norway. But the thing we don't have here on McDonald's that you have in Indonesia is the McFloat. Never heard of it, never seen it in Norway before. The first time I saw it in my life, was actually in McDonald's in Indonesia. And uh, although I haven't tried it yet. For me, just a combination of soda and ice cream is just crashing. I, do, I don't like eating ice cream and drinking Coca-Cola at the same time. So to mix them in a McFloat, it haven't tempted me. But I think when I go back to Indonesia, I have to try the McFloat. <sighs> Done with the delicious McDonald's meal picking up some flowers for Adi if you are from Indonesia I want to ask you like are you happy with the menu you get in McDonald's Indonesia or would you like to see some more meat options in McDonald's Indonesia like for me but I'm a foreigner I'm not used to eat chicken and rice everywhere I go so I have to be honest sometimes when I enter McDonald's I wish it was some more options on the meat side but maybe that's just me but I'm wondering if you are an Indonesian, is it the same for you? Now, let's get the flowers. So we got the flowers. I made the combination myself. I picked out every flower and made the mix. What do you think? Is it nice? I have to say, I've been filming myself making these edits for four years now, actually. I've been talking to a camera for four years. 
and still I never get comfortable talking like this in the public it's, it's very weird like sitting here at McDonald's making this edit people passing by and it's like I feel embarrassed and I and I just I just stop talking in the middle I have to record it again and there's so often there's so many things that I wished I filmed I wished I said but just because it's embarrassing I don't do it I I know who I'm communicating to but people passing by it's like what and it's kind of understandable at the same time it's so hard to like just shut out what other people yeah. think <laughs> It's so cold! The beaches of the southwest part of Norway is almost as beautiful as the beaches in Indonesia. Let me show you. I just we need two jackets now because it's so windy here. But uh, let me show you the beach on the southwest part of Norway. So this is a beach called Bure, Bure Strana, <laughs> not far from Stavanger. Here we have a showering cleaning area. As you can see the beach is very beautiful it's almost like Lombok but the thing is in Lombok you can use it every day all year around here in Norway for the beach purpose of swimming and enjoying the water maybe it's seven days a year <laughs> it's warm enough because for example now it's freezing Ooh, but it's still very beautiful With this wind, when you just go into a quiet place, it's so nice. Like the wind here in Norway is freezing. It goes straight into the bones of your body. It's like... <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.